No, hold on. Dang. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I was gonna start after the first intro. I'll probably have to cut that. And then my dogs just went ape shit. So this will be just a different type of episode. I'm sure most people will watch it later, which is fine. Or you don't want to watch it. You all about stonks. So be it. Um, I'm just recording this for myself, kind of. And uh, let's go here. Okay. So just like I already covered um, my equipment. So if, if anybody's really looking to start a new fitness journey, you know, like kind of I'm kind of resetting for next year. So um, I showed my gym bag. So some recommendations in the description. If you want to try some of that equipment, you could ask me and I, that's all the equipment I've used after years of trying other stuff. Um, so this is the programming I'm at for this year. Um, this is how I'm going to start the year. I mean, I'm always ready to adapt. Um, so I've done like every type of weightlifting. I've done powerlifting exclusive programs. I've done bro split. I've done total body. I've done uh, upper lower. I've done all of it. So this is what I'm doing currently. I had, um, I had a trainer. I had a trainer for about five months this year. So I paid for a professional trainer. He set programming, which I've, I've modified what he set up for me. Um, so I'm going to continue basically what he's doing with me. So this is a, um, if, if people aren't familiar, this is a, it's a push pull leg routine and you can either do, I've seen other variations where it's like you do, you can do this twice a week. I, if you've got the time to go six days a week to the gym, good, good for you. Um, I just don't, I can, I can commit to three days a week. I, I can't commit to any more with my schedule. So this is what he built for me and I've modified it. So I think this is a great routine option for people. If you want to try something different, um, I find um, total body, total body routines are very difficult to make progress with progressive overload because you're just, you're hitting every body part constantly. You're, you get exhausted doing total body workouts is what I found. So I don't particularly enjoy them. Um, I still will do them. I'm, they're not off the table. So this is um, it's a two day split. So that you just rotate back and forth. Um, the idea is, um, if you did more weeks, like three or four weeks, then the problem would be you're only doing each exercise once a month and it's going to be difficult to overload, progressively overload. So this is just two weeks, literally going back and forth. Um, if, if something, I, I mean, I mean, I can always modify, but if I need to, so I do, I start off with cardio. I just do five minutes to warm up. You don't need to do any crazy foam roll pad or if, if you enjoy doing that stuff, so be it. But uh, I don't think particularly I don't need it. I've never needed extensive warm up. Five minute cardio, do a little stretch and off I go. Um, this doesn't include warming up the before I do the exercise. I do a little bit of warm up on the first exercise of each day. I, and then that's it. Then I'm off, off and going. I've never needed a lot of warm ups. You might. So. So push day is what you think. Um, if you're unfamiliar, think of all the pushing muscles, right? In your body, like your chest, your triceps. So you're focusing on that type of, of movement. Um, so basically I, what I do is I rotate, I'll do um, a flat dumbbell and then like an incline uh, barbell type of movement. And then the next week I rotate it. I then do in incline dumbbell and then I do a flat barbell just back and forth. Those, those are two those two will take you that's like all you need for your chest you could almost argue and then this machine press so that's like a machine uh there where you put free weights and then you can push it um so what i'm doing is i usually start off with uh the big movements right that involve a lot of, of move there's isolation movements which are at the end and then the compound movements i, I have at the beginning you should never start with isolation movements, I don't think, because they um, you're pre-exhausting your muscles before you do the big compound lifts, which are what really the big focus of a weightlifting program, I think, should be your compound movements. And then the isolation movements are just to fill in the gaps. But I, I do – now, for me, I do lower rep uh, compound movements. I've, I've just found through years of trial and error, I, I don't respond well to um, like 10 to 12 rep. 
uh, for compound movements like the big heavy ones, dumbbell, squat, bench, all those types. I, I respond better when I go lower, six to eight or eight to ten. Eight to ten is the max. But six to eight is if if it's very difficult, then I really want to push like increasing the weight. Then I drop the reps so I can work on increasing the weight that I'm pushing. So my priority right now is shoulders. That's why I have uh, military press at six to eight because I want I really want to push uh, push the limit on this one. These ones, I'm honestly like, I, I'm not trying to really lift more. I'm trying more to lose weight. So, and then I don't really focus on arms. I, I might be the only guy that doesn't really, I don't really give a shit about arm development. I just do, I throw it in at the end. So I'm more concerned about back, chest, shoulders. Um, then end with a ab. You can end with more extensive ab work if you want or something different. It's up to you. So pull routine. A lot of different pulling mo movements. Um, the goal is, you know, long, like stretching, long stretch the muscle, pull. Uh, very deliberate. And uh, you can, I I'm going to show a lot of channels in a minute where you can get some more reference material about this stuff. But you got to be careful about ego lifting. That's what's, uh, that's all I would say. Other channels will talk about it more, but. You know, the whole point of fitness and this is I'm 40, so it, it it's going to matter to you more and more as you get older. And uh, you need to make sure preventing injury is the most important thing about lifting, um, especially when you get to my age. You really got to pay attention to the movement, understand what you're doing. Don't push the limits um, and stay within what you know how to do. So, yeah, pull day, back muscles and biceps, basically, if someone doesn't know what a pull day is. <laughs> And then legs, um, leg day. I don't barbell squat anymore. Um, I don't think you need to, honestly, if you're just an everyday person working in an office, I really don't think it's that necessary. Um, it, it does put your lower back at, at risk. I had a friend blow a disc out in his lower back squatting, um, pretty traumatic injury actually. So I, it doesn't fit into what I want to do. I mean, if you want to do barbell squats go for it if that's part of your goal it's not part of my fit, my leg development goals so it's not in there um i do hex day the hex deadlift bar i don't do the normal bar much anymore um but i focus more on quad i don't really focus on the hamstring uh, leg development anymore lots of lunging split leg, bulgarian squats um and this you know you don't need a lot um you don't need to do you don't have to do like some of the movements that you see a lot of people do, like like front and back squat. So oh, there it is. That's what I'm doing now. Um, so I'm going to show, if anyone cares, I'll show some people I think you should pay attention to. Let me pull it up. Okay. So if you really want to get into uh, fitness for the new year, um, Here's some here's some YouTubers you can follow. I'm not I can't I'm not gonna say that I this is probably beyond what I do anyways. So you got Renaissance Periodization. Uh, what's his name? Doctor. Oh my God. I am drawing a blank on his name. Um, give me a second. Doctor Mike. There you go. So great channel. He's actually a doctor of, of fitness, basically. So like, like Lane Norton, great channel, great information about nutrition, uh, exercise, great resource for if you want to start getting into weightlifting more. Um, this is the man that basically, this man basically taught me so much about powerlifting and lifting with a barbell. I can't even begin to tell you. Like he, he, I think he literally saved me from injuries. I was screwing up my shoulder and I didn't know why I was screwing my shoulder up. And then I kind of watched some of his videos and he explained like how your shoulder actually is supposed to move. You're not supposed to be out here. You should be more in this plane of movement. Um, one of the best fitness channels online. Like he, he is excellent at his tutorials about lots of different movements. His deadlift tutorial is the best on the internet to me. Um, He's also got other ones, but he's, he's in the, like, he's, he's focused on functional strength as he gets older, which is what's what I am too. So that's why I really like his channel, Alan Thrall, um, Mike Matthews, 
Mike Matthews, I did his programming for a very long time. So if you're if you're totally new to fitness weightlifting and you want to get into weightlifting, um, I cannot. Um, let's see, is it this book? No, wrong. This book. If you're brand new to weightlifting, you've never weightlifted before. This is what you need. This book's like twelve dollars, and this is everything you need for probably the first two years. Honestly, for two years you can do this program, and you don't need anything else. It covers weightlifting programming. He also has links to the spreadsheets you can use. Um, and then along with that, the macronutrient calculations. And this gives you everything you need on how to start developing strength. Um, he also has a YouTube channel. You can see he, he has a podcast. Um, he has a supplement line, which I use Legion. It's up to you. But um, this guy's great. Um, the only thing you'd need at this point is like a macro tracker to go with this, but he takes care of everything else. His program is basically gets you into uh, progressive overloaded weightlifting. So he has programming for three, four or five days a week. Um, his programming is some of it's like push pull and some of it's like upper lower. Um, he does that kind of training regimen. He does um, very low rep sets. So he's really his programming is focused on getting you strong. Um, as, like as strong as he can, um, which is great. And I highly recommend it. He also has a follow on called beyond. He has a, he has a female line of books too. So if you're, if you're female, he's got a, he's got programming for them. So here's the follow up book beyond bigger, leaner, stronger. This adds, um, what's the word? Uh, this, this book adds, it's, it's more advanced lifting techniques. That's why I say like you do the first book for at least two years and then you could go to this. I did these two for like five years straight. Um, these have like cycles. So this book develops like uh, you'll do like an eight week pro cycle of like lifting and then you'll have like a strength week and then you'll like deload and then you'll go into the next cycle and then the reps and the sets vary through each cycle of training. Um, you know, you can read the book and figure it out, but if you're if you want to get into lifting weights and you like don't know where to start, like you can't go wrong. This is like this is all you need for like the first like four years. This and then and then macro tracker. Um so I can't I can't begin to tell you how great like he really helped me out because I was kind of lost on how to program after the army. Um if you want to do total body, um if you want to do total body working at like uh programming, like if that's your thing. So, cause he doesn't do toll body. So this is another one you could get. I'll probably link these in the bio. Um, Brad Schoenfeld. So very uh, well-regarded fitness professional. Uh, I think he's a doctor. So it's an older book. Um, he also works with Lane Norton. He's worked with a lot of different fitness influencers. So this is a total body routine where you're doing, basically you're doing your whole body every time for two, three, four times a week, uh, you can read the program in it. So that might be your thing, which is great. If, if that's how you like to work out, I nothing wrong with it. I can't do it. Um, I find it's just too exhausting. Um, I do it occasionally. I just I'll do it for a week or two just to do something different. And then I'll go back into like push pull leg or um, some sort of bro split. So that's a good program too. Um, you can create a spread. He has like, the programming in here, um, you can create spreadsheets yourself, which I did. Um, I really liked it. But it keeps you on your toes. He has uh, phase strength weeks, different blocks, uh, micro cycles. It's very advanced. Um, but if you like total body routines, excellent. So this is one I would say for that. Um, last but not least, if you want to get into real powerlifting, um, so if you really want to get into powerlifting, which I don't recommend if you're brand new to lifting, you should probably do bigger, leaner, stronger for like two years. Then you can start to think about like real powerlifting where we're talking like four or five, 600 pound lifts. Um, you, you could hurt yourself and you probably aren't ready in the first two years unless you're some genetic freak. But you could also read this. I think there's a new addition to this book. Um, so you probably have heard of this. Mark Ripito. So he's on YouTube also, but he, this book will help you understand powerlifting and Olympic lifting. And it, he draws like stick charts, which is so interesting. Um, but it helps you realize there's a good point. 
So he helps you realize that you're basically a mechanical um, when you read this book from Mark Ripito. Because at first you're like, I'll just copy other people. That's what I thought. I'm like, I'll just watch a video and just copy exactly what they do. And it, it didn't work. And I couldn't get it to work. And I'm like, why am I stuck on like 215 pound deadlifts or something? Or 225. I got stuck on that for a while. I'm like, why? I'm just copying exactly what this guy's doing. And then you realize you're all individually different. Uh, your, your mechanics are different than anybody else. So someone can show you the the basic, you know, how to lift. But, you know, your ratio of your hips to your knees and your femur bones, they're all different. Your levers are different than someone else. You have to take the coaching and adapt it to, you know, your body and how you can lift. And this helps you understand that if you read this book um, and you get a sense of that. That's where it comes in, like, coat. Once you get more into it, it's like coaching and recording yourself to look for any sort of edge lifting. So there's that one. But uh, who else? This guy's just for motivation. He does like ultra marathons. Um, this dude just keeps you freaking motivated if you're feeling down on your working out program and your programming. So Mark Lewis. Paul Revelia. Um, my coach came from Pro Physique. You can hire, they have coaches that will do training and nutrition macro uh, programming for you. It's not cheap, but his company does it. They also do fitness challenges where it's like you do like a 90 day fitness challenge where you get like a group, you're in a group and you also have like uh, teams calls, I think, with the coach. So that's an option for people. If you want more of a goal setted fitness routine, I think they're doing one for the new year. They usually do like a fitness challenge in the summer too. But he's a wealth of knowledge, and he he coaches competitive um, physique and bikini competitors for like uh, bodybuilding shows. Uh, who else? This guy's a good follow. Just uh, I just think he he does some interesting YouTube content. Um, the bio and uh, the pioneer. If you want, he'll, he'll just give you ideas of of maybe. Um, because it gets stale. That's a problem. Working out gets stale and boring. So this guy can maybe give you some ideas that you hadn't thought about, uh, like different types of mod different modalities, different ways of moving. So I've done some of the stuff that he's he's been doing in here. Uh, he does. I wouldn't call him a calisthenics guy, but he does a lot of different movements. Uh, his his like using like medicine balls in various ways. I've kind of adapted some of that in my fitness. Uh, and then walking more and goblet squats. I definitely agree. Goblet squats are great. Like I do that. I don't do barbell squatting anymore. Um, Jeff Nipar. I don't think I have to introduce. <laughs> he does really good scientifically backed uh, research and YouTube posts. Great source of you know information. So there's that. Um, yeah. Let's see who's here. I use. Oh, yeah. Good. I use RP Zap for tracking workouts and Macro Factor for nutrition. Pretty combo if you can afford it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. RP uh, Renaissance Periodizations app. I think it's thirty bucks a month, so it's not it's not exactly the cheapest one. Um, yeah. Sub, Mark Lewis. Yes, he is great. He's he's interesting. Like I want to. Um, I do want to start getting ready for running too because i want to do like a uh i'm gonna try and do like a 10k for thanksgiving i think but we'll see what was the last thing i'll show i think i have one more thing but i would just tell you like you know we spent so much time talking about financial fitness and it's like what's what's the point of having a lot of money if you never get to retirement like that's this the set you know you could you could have this great retirement plan. <laughs> if you don't take care of your body, you ain't gonna get there. <clears throat> or you're gonna get there and you're gonna be you know so out of shape, you're gonna have blown out knees, maybe your back's messed up. And then it's like, how are you gonna enjoy retirement? If your back's messed up, you can barely walk. So all your adventures you have in your mind are out the door. I mean, I don't think you want to spend your retirement sitting in your house. <laughs> like so there's gotta be more to just just basically sitting in front of a computer and just constantly, I don't know, maybe you're doing YouTube videos. I'm just kidding. But I can show, um, I'll show this before we end. I have 
the programming from Mike Matthews. Maybe that'll be helpful for people. Oh, bigger, leaner, stronger. Hold on. PDF. Okay, I'll show this. Let me pull it up. Okay, I have it. Present. Okay. So, like, like I said, I'm going to do push pull legs three days a week, and then I'll do three days a week. I'm going to do cardio, just walking or some sort of biking. Um, and then I'll do probably an eight week phase, and then I'm going to do like a strength test and then deload is my thought. I'll probably do that for at least six months this year. This is a bigger, leaner, stronger, the four day routine. So, like, the, this is the one I said if you're brand new to lifting, you this is the type of routine that he has in that book. Um, these spreadsheets you can download after you buy the book, but it's very like it's very rudimentary to start. Like it's not that hard. It's it's like literally four or five movements each day. Um, he keeps it very easy. You know, there's not a lot to it. Um, you can see workout. Yeah, I mean it's like the leg day, squat, leg press, leg curl, calf raises. There you go. So the hit, and then there's more advanced stuff, but at the beginning of weightlifting, you don't need much more than that. You might feel like you need, you have so much more energy, but you really don't. You should spend more time working on your form, make sure you're doing it properly. And then increasing the weight. is the most important part. Um, you know, so there's that. All right. So that easy enough. Yeah. So next one will be back to, back to finance this and then uh we'll be good oh wait how to be it's increasing sets through block as opposed to a static number of sets throughout a block hmm I think increasing sets throughout a block as opposed I don't really have a big feeling for that i i don't i'm not in his app so i don't exactly know what he's i don't know exactly what he is uh telling people to do um my owner like my goal has always been just increasing um basically just increasing the weight i don't really increase the sets and the reps of of lifting so like if i'm benching as soon as i as soon as i can if my goal is like eight reps as soon as i hit eight reps um, I I then increase weight, so I don't have to do three sets of the of the new amount. Um, I don't know. I'd have to look at his app before I would say anything. I'm sure he knows way more than I do about that stuff. So, so we'll see. Um, hopefully, keep going in fitness. And oh, there's more. Wait, he might say okay for week one. He might say do two sets of bench. But week four will be six or something. Other programs just have. Okay, I know. What you... Okay, I I, I kind of thought that's what you were saying. Um, I I think that's too for for me. I guess just just for me, I've never done something like that. So basically, I stick to the same amount of sets for like like I said, I do like an eight week block, and then I like. I'll either do a strength week and then deload, or I'll I'll just assess what I want to do. I'll do I so I I do fitness like in eight week increments, um, like my lifting anyways. Cardio is just you know you can walk or bike, but I've never done that actually, huh? Um, because my thought would be like Mike Matthews, if you read Bigger, Lean, or Stronger, he would tell you just put more weight on the bar instead of saying oh if you hit if you hit like two twenty five. You don't add another set or and you don't increase the reps you just add more weight and then you go back to doing you know say three to four sets uh eight to ten reps each one so you just keep progressively overloading the bar hmm. I, i'm not to see if, if i can find a youtube video where he talks about this on his channel interest i wonder why he does that hmm. but the other factor too i should say is time um Time in my program is specifically like I showed at the beginning of this video, my push pull leg. I've like scrutinized every minute and I have a stopwatch when I'm at the gym because I have, I literally have like an hour and a half. Like that's it. 
and that that's pushing it because like usually I'm before work, so I have a you know I have to get home to go to work, or I'm after work and I have to get home, you know, because I got kids and my wife works. So like time is of the essence for working people like us. So I I don't think you could like you'd you'd be stretching out your time with you know increasing the sets like that. So yeah, I don't think that would work for someone that's like a working professional. That'd be tough. Um, I think the focus should be more on just increasing the weight on certain exercises, the compound movements, the isolation movements. I don't think it's that important to increase the weight. Honestly, I think it's just a matter of volume. Maybe that's just my that's my opinion. But like bicep try like isolation movements is just like a volume game. I don't. I I've lifted heavy. Like I I can do like. I've done like 60 pound dumbbell curls. I don't feel like I'm getting much out of it. And then I'll go, but then I'll do like a super set. I'll, I'm going like five sets, 20 reps. I, I feel like I get much better out of the smaller muscle groups, but yeah, I agree with the time. Fact. That, that, I mean, if, if like in a perfect world, like if I didn't work, I would try that. That sounds cool. It sounds like an interesting idea. What, what you're saying he's, he's proposing. Yeah, time's not of the essence. That that might be optimized, but uh time is time is a big deal. Um and you really I I've, I've done I've done th that would be the last thing I would say. I did maps um the maps people uh mind pump. I have anabolic and I have aesthetic. My problem with aesthetic was it was so fucking long. Like it took me 2 hours to do that program. Um and it it was like ridiculous. So like, let me see, I'll show you who I'm talking about. Hold on. Yeah, these guys. So I did aesthetic and anabolic. I downloaded them, and it took me like two hours. It's crazy how much shit they make you do on a daily basis and i'm just like i can't do this it's two hours of working out i gotta go i gotta go do stuff i got a life so i don't know but could it could work if you got enough time maybe you're a college student and that doesn't matter so much your time like it does for me um it, i thought it was good programming just it was just i didn't feel like they, i felt like they could have cut some of the stuff out of that program the aesthetic one I don't think it needed so many exercises. It, it was overwhelming. Um, and I don't think you need that much just to maintain your fitness and lose a little weight. And like, it seemed like excessive, but anyways, 30 minutes. All right. Um, yeah, so that'll be that. And, uh, maybe I'll post some workout videos of, of some stuff that I do. Uh, that'll be it. We will see. So otherwise, you know, Take advantage of the new year and uh, try and try and do better. Make, like I lost 30 pounds this year. So my goal is to lose 30 more pounds next year, which gets me basically to my goal uh, weight. So two years it's, it's going to take, I think. But, you know, it's all right. So thank you for watching and we will see you later. All right. Bye.